I'm Peter Lemieux. I've been exploring the Columbia Ice Field here in the Canadian Rockies with people from around the world every summer since 1982. At that time, we used to step on the glacier right here. But that was then, and this is now. So it's a little bit scary to have been around a place long enough that you can talk about it in geological terms. And I think in many ways it's kind of like watching your kid grow up. If you're there day to day, you don't see the changes. But then when you think back to what it was like 20, 30 years ago, then you really begin to appreciate the magnitude of the changes that you see around us here. Now we have to walk hundreds of meters further to get onto the glacier than we did when we first started in the early 1980s. In a lot of ways, I think these glaciers in the Canadian Rockies are kind of like the canaries in the coal mines. You know, they are good indicators of changes in our climate. I think the science is becoming clearer and clearer. And if we believe that we can continue without changing, I think we're in a dream world because the glaciers are speaking. The glaciers themselves, I've come to see, are connected to many important elements of Western Canada. The rivers, most of the rivers have their headwaters in places like this. Those rivers feed our cities, they provide water for the prairies, for the farmers to feed our population. All of these things are intimately connected. And as these glaciers disappear, we're going to see major changes that we will have to adapt to. That, I think, is the big problem and the big challenge. First of all, I think we have to make sure that people are aware of the implications of the changes that are happening. And I think in North America, a lot of people are not aware that there are going to be big changes, you know? Once we begin to realize that, we're going to have to change everything from the bottom up. We've been spendthrift, really, in terms of what we've been doing to our planet. And the changes that we're going to see in the coming years and decades, they're going to force us to change. So are, we're either going to have to do it early and get a head start on this, or it's going to be forced upon us. And I think in order to reduce our impact, we have to realize that we live in a an energy-intensive society. We are burning fossil fuels at an incredible rate. The quote that I've heard is a thousand barrels a second. To change the way we live in the world, to make less of an impact, I just think about what makes me happy. And really, I'm most happy when I'm around my family, not when I'm shopping in a mall. And Yet, those are the kinds of things, this consumerism, is a, it's an easy substitute for the things that are really important. So not only is it not good for us, it's not good for the planet. What I would say to the delegates to the UN Conference on Climate Change is that we have been dancing around this problem for probably 20 years. The science is becoming clearer and clearer, and the consequences are becoming clearer and clearer. And my concern is that there are large parts of the world's population that will suffer directly as a result of this if we do not act and make changes.